Hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Taylor, I'm also known as Trixie and today it is Saturday, it is the 8th, it is technically day 39 but it's day 34 in our book. I'm so tired, like I feel like today has just dragged on. My mom and I were talking about it in the car at home because we were just like, dude. It's only like 6.30. It feels like it's like 11.30 at night. It's awful. It's awful. It felt like we were there for such a long time. And I think that's because we were there so early in the morning. And then like we left and it was dark. So it was just like ugh. But today I did find a shit ton of really good seashells and sea glass. And I think tomorrow, after because I work tomorrow and I'll go look for shit on the beach before work, um, I think tomorrow I'm just going to show you like what I found for the week because someone out there might also enjoy seashells and trinkets and sea glass and shit and like mermaid tings and whatnot. Okay, let's get to a weigh-in. Okay, friends. Today it is February 8th, day 39. Just, okay, 222. So today I also weighed in at 222 pounds, which means I, nothing happened since yesterday. Um, I'm still down 21 pounds. I'm sorry, I keep looking down, but look at this face. She wants loves. I can't help it. Okay. Um, yesterday for the steps, I finished out the day with 14,730 steps, which now brings our total to 474,294 steps. I think by the end of Sunday, we'll be over halfway there. We'll be over 500,000 for sure. I think that's doable. Um... Let's go ahead and go on to day 34, yeah, day 34 of our 100 days of weight loss. So it is called Listen Accurately. To recognize the exact moment when you've eaten enough food, you have to pay close attention to your body. Watch carefully for the first signs of feeling comfortable or just right. The moment you begin thinking you may be at that point, ask yourself, does my stomach feel satisfied? Do I feel like I've had enough food? Nearly always the answer is yes. Your stomach, not your head. The fullness scale is not the same as the 20 minute signal to your brain, indicating you've reached sati sa satiety, sati fuck. Satiety. Mm, I know I'm butchering how the fuck you're supposed to say that, but I'm, yes, I'm sorry. No, that word's stressing me out. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm also really stoned, so, like, no. Instead, you learn how to monitor fullness by listening to the source, the abdominal muscles that cover the stomach. Think about this. When you feel way too full, you hold your stomach, not your head. So by noticing the way your stomach feels, not what your head thinks, you'll be able to recognize the early signs that indicate you're feeling satisfied. Damn. I mean, that's hella smart. When full feels good, what if you enjoy the sensation of being full? Maybe you've connected feeling stuffed with also feeling powerful, nurtured, or safe. Perhaps large family meals always helped you feel connected to others. If so, you might still relate feeling full to memories of happy times and good food. If you realize that you like feeling stuffed, you may need to work on changing your belief that full is a good sensation. You might even want to start thinking of stuffed as being a distasteful, obnoxious feeling rather than a desired one. Instead of enjoying the sensation of being overly full, begin labeling it as uncomfortable. Make a conscious decision that you no longer want to feel that way and that instead you want to feel comfortable or satisfied. 
If you've been overeating for many years, it may take some time to adjust time to adjust to the goal of never letting yourself get too full but eventually you can learn to appreciate having a healthy positive body that doesn't want to feel full or stuffed yes yes okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and do the 100 days of weight loss journal Day 34, we have this in accurately. Okay. Instead of enjoying the sensation of being overly full, begin labeling it as uncomfortable. Make a clear decision that you no longer want to feel that way, and instead you want to feel comfortable or satisfied. So I've actually, since starting this journey, and in particular, because like I, before, when I was drinking, alcohol um I always would end up overeating like I'd be like oh shit I need to eat and then I'd eat too much and then I'd get sick and it would just be all bad all bad so I already had like kind of started equating that to like being uncomfortable but um when I first quit drinking and there was like that deficit of calories I kept like overeating and then but overeating and making myself feel sick and then I was just like okay well bitch it's not even the alcohol at this point it's just you because I did that one of the nights one of the things I made it was so good and I was so hungry I let myself get too hungry and then I ate way too much way too fast and like it all settled like a brick in my stomach and so now I don't like like I like I when I get that like full point I don't try and like go over it because I end up regretting it. Don't want to like, yeah. Yeah. It's been interesting, but like this book is like really, I mean, like I said, we're thir day 34 today. So it's really been teaching me like different ways to tune into like different signals of the body and everything. So it makes sense that as this is going, I'm just like, yes, I like this idea. I already no longer like label it as being like overly full or stuffed. I'm just like, no, that's just being uncomfortable. It's awful. It's awful. So today eat a meal or a snack but stop right at the point of feeling comfortable or a plus one on the scale describe how this level feels to you so it felt fine i did this at work i brought um i had part of a loaf of french bread that i had bought at safeway yesterday and so i brought that with me so i could have olive oil and balsamic at work and black lava salt on that because fuck yeah black lava salt and so I basically made myself like a little thing of that, but like as soon as I started, like I was fine. Like I was just like, okay, like I'm satisfied now. I'm not super hungry anymore. I like, this is good. I felt, it felt nice. Like it felt nice to not just like wolf down a fucking meal and then be like, oh fuck, I don't feel so good and still have to go like take tables and talk to them and like give them a nice experience and all that shit and like be crouching down and fucking walking all around and carrying shit like <sighs> being super full and having to do a bunch of like work is no because you just like want to sit down and rest and like digest and yeah recall times in the past when you've eaten until you felt stuffed write a note that describes that and then compare the two feelings um I I have done it so many times in the past. Like, seriously, I have eaten to the point of feeling stuffed and feeling uncomfortable so many times in the past. And, like, when I, like, oh, that feeling of, like, feeling not, like, like, your pants are too tight, but that it's your skin and your organs and, like, everything's too tight because you filled yourself to capacity. Like, ugh. Ugh, and it makes you feel sluggish and just like so like honestly it's like I think about it now and I'm just like that's such a it's such a gross feeling and it's so uncomfortable that like why is that like what I for a long time like saw out as like the like normal way to eat 
because today I felt so much better. Like, this is definitely, like, just this. Just, like, I feel so much better. I, like, I felt like I was still, like, you know, fucking quick on my feet. Like, could still, you know, I was doing just fine. And the only thing I had to worry about is that I was eating herb olive oil and balsamic. And I didn't want my breath to smell funky. But I had Tic Tacs in my snack cauldron. So, it was fine. Think about what it means to feel full or stuffed. Is it comforting or nurturing? Does having a full belly make you feel stronger or more confident? Are you getting away with something you couldn't do as a child? Record your insights. So it may, like, when I was younger, like, and I could eat a lot, and even if it meant I ate myself to the point of being, like, that stuffed, like, I was proud of it because, I mean, honestly, like, I weighed, like, 130, 145 most of high school and stuff, so... I would be like, yeah, I can eat an entire large pizza in, like, fucking half an hour. Suck it. And now I'm just, like, I don't enjoy that feeling. I don't, like, no. I don't pride myself, really, on being able to, like, eat a lot. Like, I can't, and what's funny is the older I've gotten, like, I can't fucking eat like that anyways. Like... Yeah, I can't eat like that anyways anymore. Um, and I don't enjoy that feeling anymore. I always felt so uncomfortable, and I always regret it, and I just like, mm-mm. It's like I know, like, part of that is how I grew up, because, like, my parents, it's funny because my parents are, like, the two, like, opposite ends of the fucking spectrum deal like my dad just eats a fuck ton he does like him and I both do we owe it like yeah just eat a lot and then my mom will just fucking forget to eat and it's not like she like is anorexic or anything she literally just like forgets to eat she's fucking busy she does all kinds of shit even before she was like the manager of the restaurant she always had like little fucking side hustles that she was doing and she just forgets because now she's been so much better. She's been so much better the past couple years. And especially, like, this last year. Like, now she brings herself snacks and she brings herself lunch. Like, we always joke with my dad. Because if you've seen King of Queens, like, if you've seen King of Queens, my mom and dad are so much like Doug and Carrie. It's fucking ridiculous. It's so funny. It's so funny. But, like, seriously, Doug is my dad. Like, my dad is, like, a cross between Doug Heffernan and Homer Simpson. I feel like I want to, like, I want there to be, like, some other person. But he's, like, Doug Heffernan and Homer Simpson. Anyways. So, like, what? You know, I grew up, like, I, ha I spent a lot of time with my dad. Like, I, we would both sit and fucking overeat, so it makes sense that I like overeat, but I'm glad, like, I don't enjoy that feeling anymore. I'm just, like, like, it still happens, like, you know, sometimes, like, Thanksgiving or Christmas, and you have, like, a bunch of really delicious food, and then you fucking take a nap, because you're so full, but, like, ain't, I fucking, ain't nobody got time for that shit. It's 2020, I think. I'm like looking around like I have something to show you. I like, I forgot I'm not gonna do. I'll show you the seashells tomorrow. I'll show you the seashells tomorrow after I get all of them. And then I can show you. I have to make a necklace out of sea glass for one of the girls at the front desk. So maybe I'll show you that because I'm pretty excited that someone actually wants to buy some of my jewelry. But. I need to fucking go get ready for bed. I gotta work in the morning. <sighs> but at least it's brunch. So, I love you so, so much. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. Give it a like. It really helps me out. And subscribe if you're not already. And hit the notification bell so you get notified every time that I upload. I will see you tomorrow. I love you so, so much. Go out there and make every day your best day ever. Because life is too fucking short not to. Yes. Mwah.